evening. Welcome to Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community, the news you can trust and events that move and celebrate our very own South Asian community. I'm Nadi Kathuria coming to you from our ITV Gold Studio in New Jersey. In the news this evening, millions of spectators enjoy the 96th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York. Student sues blind Indian American professor for gender-based discrimination. Jewelry store robbery in Jersey City caught on video. Indian diaspora protests 2611 Mumbai attacks in US and around the world. Season 4 of the much popular Israeli web series Fawda premieres at 53rd International Film Festival of India. Actor film producer Chiranjeevi addresses at the closing ceremony of 53rd IFFI. Ayushman Kurana talks about his upcoming film, An Action Hero. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community for news in detail, right after this short break. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is an annual parade in New York City presented by the U.S.-based department store chain Macy's. The parade first took place in 1924. The three-hour parade is held in Manhattan, ending outside Macy's Herald Square. The 96th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York returned with its spectacular mix of giant character helium balloons, floats, marching bands, performance groups, celebrities, clowns and the one and only Santa Claus. Enjoy the highlights. A Columbia University alumnus has accused her former professor, the Indian origin best-selling author, Sheena Iyengar, of gender-based discrimination. According to the New York Post, Elizabeth Blackwell, who graduated with a bachelor's degree in psychology from Columbia University in 2017, has accused Ms. Iyengar, who is blind, of assigning her demeaning female jobs like applying her makeup and booking restaurants for her romantic dates. Ms. Blackwell, who filed a lawsuit against Ms. Iyengar, alleged in her complaint that she was given personal and supportive tasks since they were better suited for the female gender. 
In comparison, Miss Blackwell's male counterpart encountered none of the obstacles that Miss Blackwell was forced to overcome. She claimed that Miss Iyengar assigned research duties to a male co-worker despite those tasks being unrelated to his job description. Miss Iyengar is part of the faculty at Columbia Business School and is also the author of the best-selling book, The Art of Choosing. In an armed smash-and-grab robbery, five men looted a Jersey City jewelry store last Sunday on November 27th. They looted thousands in cash and as much jewelry as they could hold, according to Jersey City Police and a surveillance video of the incident. At least one of the five men was armed, Jersey City Police said. Take a look. Protests erupted outside Pakistan Embassy in Washington, D.C. and Tokyo on the 14th anniversary of 26-11 Mumbai terror attacks. Protesters raised anti-Pakistan slogans and called on the world powers to bring to justice the perpetrators of the Mumbai attacks. They also condemned Pakistan for harboring terror groups. In Belgium, an event was organized to commemorate the 166 victims of the attack. Watch this video. Stop supporting Pakistan. 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 Sanction Pakistan. Sanction Pakistan. Sanction Pakistan. Terror state 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 Pakistan. Sanction Pakistan. Sanction. Where was Bin Laden? Pakistan, Pakistan. 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 Where is Hafiz Saib? Pakistan, Pakistan. Where is Hafiz Saib? Pakistan, Pakistan. Where is Masood Azhar? Pakistan, Pakistan. Where is Masood Azhar? Pakistan, Pakistan. Where is Masood Azhar? Pakistan, Pakistan. I am here to protest against this tragic event that happened on 26th of November in Mumbai. Uh, this was a continuation of series of terrorist attacks that have been happening around the world. 9-11 uh, happened here in the New York and 26-11 happened in Mumbai. But if you look at all the terrorist uh, attacks that have happened, all the terrorist incidents that are, that are happening around the world, you will find connections back to Pakistan. Condemn Pakistan for all these terrorist activities, and I request the international community plus United States to stand and take action against Pakistan and stop terrorism. Country like Pakistan, and no funding of any fund to Pakistan in order to support this country. Pakistan, 
Pakistan. 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 Bin Laden. Pakistan. Where was Bin Laden? Pakistan. Pakistan. Where was Bin Laden? Pakistan. Pakistan. Where was Where is Pakistan? Stop terrorism. Pakistan. Stop terrorism. Pakistan. Stop terrorism. Sanction. Pakistan. Bharat Mata Ki. Jai. Bharat Mata Ki. Jai. Pakistan is a global terrorist state and this menace in the world is propagated, supported, funded, everything by them. And it, it seems like uh, Pakistan, uh, terrorism is their uh, way of diplomacy, which is the world needs to unite against and put Pakistan into their place and talk some sense to them. America is the best place to put them. Pakistan, sanction, Pakistan, sanction, Pakistan, sanction, Pakistan, sanction, Pakistan. Where is Pakistan? Pakistan, Pakistan. Where is Pakistan? Pakistan, Pakistan. Sanction, Pakistan, sanction, Pakistan. Season 4 of the much popular Israeli web series Fauda premiered at 53rd International Film Festival of India being held in Panaji, Goa. The series would be launched globally on Netflix in 2023. Creators and executive producer Lior Raz and Avi Izakarov were present at the star-studded event. It is to be noted that India has already adapted Fauda's first season in Hindi. The web series is called Tanav, directed by renowned filmmaker Sudhir Mishra with a powerful cast of Zareena Wahab, Rajat Kapoor, Arbaz Khan and the very talented Mana Vij. You can watch the series on Sony Live. For now, watch the grand reception for the originals at Goa. Are you, ma'am, for Yes, because it's an Israeli movie, I am excited. And besides, I had not much chance to watch this year. It was terrible. I, this is the only the fourth movie that I'm watching. I wasn't getting any all these days. Today I got this at the counter, so I'm feeling very happy about it.
organized annually by the Directorate of Film Festivals in Asia, the 53rd edition of the International Film Festival of India showcased the best of world cinema. The biggest film festival in India is held annually in Goa, offering a platform to all the cinephiles and creators across the globe to showcase their work and talent, engage with film cultures of various nations and promote understanding of the social and cultural ethos of world cinema. Actor film producer Chiranjeevi addressed the audience at the closing ceremony of 53rd IFFI. Take a look. The prestigious Indian Personality of the Year Award by the Government of India at the International Film Festival of India, Goa, for the year 2022. Keep those claps going for the mega star, Chiranjeevi Sam in the house! We can do better, Goa. Let's get up on our feet. Round of applause for Chiranjeevi Sam. Let's do it! My heartfelt gratitude to our beloved Prime Minister Ji, Prime Minister. He has extended, he actually acknowledged very kind acknowledgement for the award when it conferred on me. So, on behalf of everyone, I would like to thank our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Now, finally, I would like to thank my friend Akshay Kumar is here. And very recently, my son Ram and Akshay Kumar, they shake their legs in one of the TV shows. Fantastic. He is competing. He is my friend, but yet now he's competing with my son. That is the charisma of my <laughs> strength and the energy of Akshay Kumar. Wonderful, my friend. Wonderful. So finally, I would like to thank the Goan and Ifi and INB Ministry and the Government of India, my friends, my producers, my directors, my co-stars, my technicians, each and everybody who has contributed, who has supported me to reach this level, to this megastar level. For everyone, I bow my head and thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Once again, thank you, sir. Thank you. Actor Yushman Kurana would be seen in an action hero next, in which he plays a movie star caught in an action film plot in real life. Drawing from the 90s Hollywood hit Last Action Hero, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, an action hero is not only set up as a thriller, but also a commentary on the capricious nature of stardom. Anirudh Ayer, who has assisted on films like Shah Rukh Khan Zero and Tanu Ved's Manu Returns, has written the story and also directed the film. Watch the actor and director in conversation about their film, An Action Hero, which will be released in theatres on December 2nd. बहुत खुश हैं, बहुत एक्साइटेड हैं, पर हमको ऐसे लगता है कि फिल्म टेलर से बेहतर है, तो तो हम बहुत एक्साइटेड हैं, होप कर रहे हैं कि थिएटर्स में सब जाएं और देखें। अच्छी फीलिंग है जो आपको आ रही है, और हमें भी ये फीलिंग आ रही है वैसे, हम ये चाहते हैं फीलिंग लोगों तक पहुंचे, और उनको सब कुछ बता नहीं सकते ट्रेलर के अंदर क्योंकि थ्रिलर है कुछ ऐसे एलिमेंट्स हैं जो दिखा नहीं सकते जो आप फिल्म में देखें तो ज़्यादा मज़ा आएगा एक एक सुपरस्टार की जर्नी है एक रियल लाइफ से रियल लाइफ के बीच की जर्नी एक एक्शन एक एक स्टार है जो फिल्मों में एक्शन हीरो प्ले करते हैं अब उनको रियल लाइफ में वो चैलेंजेस लेने तो वैसी वैसी एक कहानी और कोई उनके पीछे पड़ा है और उनसे भी लड़ना है दुनिया से लड़ना है ये फिल्मों में आ, आ, हम देखते हुए आए हैं लोग एक्टर्स को करते हुए स्टार्स को करते हुए अब उसी स्टार को अगर असल जिंदगी में ये चैलेंज अगर लेना हो तो क्या होगा वैसी कहानी 
लाइफ में चैलेंजेस तो हर एक की जिंदगी में आते हैं वो आप तो उससे बच नहीं सकते तो ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि जो चैलेंजेस आम आदमी के लाइफ में नहीं आते वो ऊपर सुपर स्टार्स के लाइफ में नहीं आते हर एक की लाइफ में चैलेंज यही जिंदगी है और फिलहाल यही है कि एज एन एक्शन हीरो पहली बार मैं आ रहा हूँ पर्दे पर मेरे लिए ग्रीन मैंशन है तो ये सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज है तो एक्शन करने में मज़ा आया बहुत मज़ा आया पहले नर्वसनेस थी क्योंकि कोविड से रिकवर होने के बाद इमिजिएटली मैंने फिल्म की शुरुआत कर दी थी शूट करने की पर इवेंचुअली आगे बढ़ जितना आगे बढ़ते गए उतना एक्शन करने में मज़ा आता रहा Continuing with the news and entertainment on ITV Gold, enjoy Suraj Parjatia's family drama Hum Saath Saath Hain, starring Tabu, Sonali Bendre, Neelam Salman Khan, and Saif Ali Khan in the family movie night this Friday at 8:30 p.m. EST. Saturday at 1 p.m. EST, watch Shekhar Kapoor's blockbuster Mr. India, starring Anil Kapoor, Shri Devi, and Amrish Puri. Reserve your Sunday at 3 p.m. EST to enjoy Rithik Roshan's. Blockbuster Koi Mil Gaya, the family movie night this Friday at 8:30 p.m. EST. And that's a wrap on Vision of Asia Voice of the Community tonight. Send us your suggestions and community news that you would like us to cover for our print and television coverage at events at itvgold.com. Follow us on our Facebook handle at ITV Gold. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and pick up a free copy of Desi Talk if you're in the tri-state or in the Chicago area for community news, entertainment, and events in the U.S. You can also read the News India Times newspaper online at www.newsindiatimes.com or subscribe to the hot copy by calling 212-675-7515. This is Nadi Kathuria signing off. Happy Monday.